hi everyone in this video I'm just going to share the basic features of numbers application um, how to enter data in the numbers application to create a table and to find the sum um, and how to insert a bar graph using the table we have created so as you see in this iPad you can see the numbers application icon on the third row uh, to your um, right side the first one click on numbers application so when you open it already um, you can see the worksheet if you want to create a new worksheet go to the spreadsheet on the top um, you will be having different menus like spreadsheets undo and you're having a name of the worksheet over here so first go ahead and select the spreadsheet option when you select a spreadsheet uh, here you are getting a create spreadsheet and other things are the worksheets that we have created using this application that is saved over here if you want to work with the earlier one I mean the previous one um, you can select and do it uh, today I'm just going to go ahead with the new one so create, click on the create spreadsheet and here what do you want to create like you want the blank one or you want uh, the your worksheet uh, is like a checklist if you want you can select it otherwise if you want some graphs or chart things you can do it and also they provide you some other templates um, uh, which is related to your personal budget or savings see this one is a loan comparison so if you want to work in this you can select and you can edit your own values here and now we'll go ahead with this blank worksheet so when you click on the blank worksheet um, so this is the worksheet now so in numbers application now you're in inside your workbook which means we have the cells inside this um, using the columns and rows uh, we we have uh, so many cells inside the worksheet so if you want to work on the cells you need to give a name for it right for example this one is a1 you need to say the column name and then the row name so a b c these are columns and one two three these are rows so uh, i just want to tell you what a spreadsheet is actually a spreadsheet is a sheet where you have rows and columns um, um, which helps us to uh, record and maintain uh, you know so many like uh, we, uh, we used it in our uh, uh, journals and ledger in our old in um, you know uh, olden days but nowadays we have a spreadsheet Mm, as a computational program application so when you have the rows and columns it gives you cells so this is the a1 cell and this is b4 cell and this is a c7 cell so if you need to refer a cell you have to say the column name and then the row name so click on the first cell then type items and the next one type cost so I'm just uh, entering the values as you see if you want to enter a value inside the cell just click inside it just a double tap when you double tap you will be having a keyboard like this and then type book one and in the next one book two so here I'm just going to give you the values so let's uh, say this one is um, 15 dirham and this one is 25 dirham I just want to find out the sum I mean I need to add up the columns which is a big one uh, sorry book one and book two's values so if you want to find the sum click on the cell where you want the answer so now after selecting a cell where you want the answer uh, go and select the equal sign over here so when you press the equal sign uh, which means you are going to create a formula or just you are going to use a predefined function in this comes with this application so it gives you a functions um, or the basic feature like okay you can see the sum option over here in the end um, 
below to the number one uh, button so click on the sum option this is so simple it's much easier when you click on the sum option uh, it easily calculates the b2 and b3 values so these are the values we have given as a cost for the books book one and book two so now we got the answer so what you have to do is simply go ahead and the same uh, formula box you have you can see the green tick right click on it so it's done so you have found the sum that's it now click on the first cell and simply drag and select the whole table and now I'm just going to uh, show you how to create a bar graph you for this table and um, on the top right you can see little bit um, further down you can see the paintbrush option which is a formatting tool and the next one is a you can see the plus symbol right which is a plus icon uh, you just click on the icon and you have the different bar graphs the first one will be a table if you want to insert a table you can insert and the graph as well you can insert and the shapes and then the pictures if you want to insert some pictures which is relevant to the table you can go ahead and do that so now I don't want to insert a picture instead I want to create a bar graph so I'll click on this bar graph and I want the 2d you have categories also like 2d 3d and interactive select the 2d and the first one I'm selecting so with a simple click I got this uh, got my bar graph so simply drag and position your um bar graph on the worksheet like this so now i'll just tell you how to format this cells and the graph or picture whatever so click on the cell which one you want to format it and um, uh, this one um, this paint brush option this is the formatting tool option over here click on the cell which one you want to format it and go ahead and select the paint uh, brush option as you see there are four categories like table header cell and format go ahead and select the cell as this is a cell you'll be having options like bold italic um, if you want to change the font style you can change like by clicking on that you can change and go ahead for the text options if you want to increase the size and you see you can increase and decrease like this you can change the color just uh, swipe like this right and left you'll be having a you can uh, choose your favorite color like this and come back and the font style so if you select a font style you'll be getting on the cell where you want to change the format and come back again and that's it so here you have other uh, formatting tools like uh, fill color option and then wrap text um, as we have it in our Excel application. All those things will, you'll be getting over here. And then this, these are all the formatting options. Like this is something um, label. If it is a number, if it is a date or currency percentage, you can choose your um, format option. How do you want the cell? and then click on the table how do you want to design your table for example if you want to design uh, like this so the, this is the basic one if you want to color like this if you want to uh, color alternate rows or columns you can select any one from this and you can do and these are the table options like if you if you want to um, uh, you know highlight the rows you can do it so come back again so select this one go ahead uh, now I have selected the whole table and I'm just going for the cell option here I'm just going to fill color like this and then I want to come back I need the border style give all and that's it again come back so it's done so if you want to bold make it bold if you want to bigger your uh, if you want to make um, your font 
um, what is that size little more bigger you can do that also go to the text options increase yes it's done come back again so if you select the bar graph and go ahead for the same this thing paintbrush now you can see the menu is different right so that's why we call this as a contextual menu which means based on what you click over here in the worksheet uh, the option will change accordingly so when we have selected the ordinary cell the options were different and when you select a graph and this one is different so you have the x-axis and y-axis option and for the chart so go for the chart um, chart options if you want border you can make it um, how do you want the font size inside the chart you can select like this so all the all those formatting things you can do by simply clicking on the paintbrush but before you need to select the graph and then go ahead for the paintbrush um, tool and that's it and if you want to name this worksheet um, in the middle of your worksheet on the top middle center if you double click on it you can type the you can given your you can give your name for this worksheet for example I'm just going to um, type it as sample worksheet 3 done so now I have changed the name of uh, the worksheet so if you want to uh, add more sheets in the same worksheet I mean as we have it in our excel sheet like in the, the same workbook we'll be having uh, so many different sheets like that you can do so that how you can do is like um, on the top um, menu uh, uh, just below to the spreadsheet option click on the plus icon select new sheet now I got the new sheet so if you click on this sheet one so uh, as you see you are getting duplicate and delete options so I want to duplicate this um, sheet one so if you click duplicate then I'm getting sheet one hyphen one which means I got the copy of the sheet one in the in other name like if you want to edit or if you want to check some other manipulations you can do by making it as a you are duplicating and if you want to increase um, like excel we don't have the uh, we don't have rows and columns as endless but i have the um, the last column over here is g so if you want to increase the number of uh, column so at the end of the column g you, you can see the circle with the circle of uh, two vertical lines click on it and you will be getting a um, more columns like this and the same thing you can do with the rows also after 20 seconds no rows you can see so if you want to increase the number of rows click on the circle with uh, horizontal uh, two horizontal lines see I'm just simply adding the number of rows so if you want to do something with the cell click on the cell and you'll be getting the option of cut copy delete fill and comment so you can choose any of the option if you want to copy the cell you can copy and paste it if you want to delete or cut you can do as well so for example if you're doing something uh, like this if you want to change it if you want to go back so click on it done so I didn't do actually triple five it's done okay now if you want to remove it on, uh, on the top next to the spreadsheets option you have the undo option so give undo which will delete your last work recent work will be deleted like whatever you have edited uh, in the last moment it will be removed from your worksheet so this, these are all the basic features of the numbers application if you have any doubts um, or any queries please comment below and thank you so much